Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Seven Cups of Spiritual Tea. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. As I was uh, pre-shuffling and meditating on your cards, the Ace of Cups and the Death card popped out together. So there's definitely an ending and a new beginning. An ending of old ways and a beginning of brand new ways of thinking and doing things. Let's see your overall energy. By the way, please keep in mind that the energy is interchangeable and it can go vice versa. Uh, this reading will not resonate with everyone, so if it doesn't fit your scenario or your situation, just don't make it try to fit. Uh, it's meant for someone else. But let's get started with your overall energy. Your overall energy is the Ace of Pentacles. Something grounded, a brand new start, something that can grow, something tangible, an offer of a job, money, any situation that's uh, very grounded. Okay, let's see now. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini. What a sign of Gemini. What messages do you have for their love life for the month of May 2019? What messages do you have for the sign of Gemini for their love life? All right. So we got the High Priestess, Knight of Swords, and Three of Wands. <laughs> So someone is using their intuition here. They're, this is a person that is long at a distance. Maybe long, long distance relationship. Somebody's at a distance here. But they're using their intuition on when to come in here. They're also keeping quiet. See the high priest is. Yeah, they're taking their time. They're wanting to offer something like a apology. Yeah, this person's ending, so we got the death card again. I knew that was gonna pop out. This person knows that it needs to be transformed. They're also going through a transmutable phase themselves spiritually um looking within trying to figure out you know what's best for them or what's going on in their life uh the decisions that they've made prior to you even have led them up to this point where they need to figure out why they've made those choices and why they've done the things that they've done well, we got the death card clarified with the tower and the hanged man. So things, you know, this is a, a rebirth, but, you know, the towers kind of made things stagnant here. Something has fallen apart. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny because this is, uh, so we have the death card here. And this is what fell out in the first pre-shuffle. Pre Clarifying it is the tower and the hanged man combined combination. So this is like, you know, a definite epiphany. Okay. This is like a wake up call, a hello God moment. All right. And it's, so this clarified clarifying the death card you know that's transformation that's change that's rebirth but this is also what's clarifying the tower and hangman so this new beginning has been put at a stop this is a realization of the emotional baggage everything it's not gone the way that it has it should have gone okay but it's funny because these two cards came out 
in the pre-shuffle, but it was like this. So now, and the reason I'm, I'm mentioning it is because it's showing me what's happened and in the pre-shuffle is showing me what's, what is going to happen. So this is, this, this right here will finally turn this upside down. And that's what I'm feeling here. But this person is longing for you. This person is also missing you desperately. They are definitely at a distance here. How are they feeling? All right, so you got lovers, justice card, king of swords. So they're feeling like, you know, they're going to come in, but they're just going to be logical about things. Logical and fair. Okay. They do view you as the lovers, you know, so, so their feelings, but they're viewing you as this connection. You know, there's a bond here that cannot be broken. And, uh, I know that's cliche, but when the lover's card comes out, it's a choice to me, but with this energy as well, there's such a connecting factor with the justice card here, but this is, you know, also can be a karmic situation, could be soulmate, you know, universal, but there's definitely some karma that needs to be fixed here. But they're going to come in, or they're, I'm sorry, they're feeling like, you know, they're using their head over their heart right now. You know, they feel like they need to assess the situation, make a logical choice. Don't just make it on their emotions alone. So they're kind of putting their emotions on the back burner for the time being. Let's see why. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? Okay. Because there was some toxic behavior that went on in the past in your relationship. And they're trying to release the toxicity. So they're going to use their lot. Yeah. Nobody won here. There was fighting. Um, very bad fighting. Left left depression also somebody's very depressed wallowing in their tears possibly drinking here let's see yeah drinking their sorrows away but the thing is this person is trying the reason why they're feeling this way they need to think about this logically is they need to release the toxicity. Um, they realize that this was a very toxic relationship, but they also realize that they made it toxic here. That's why they know in their intuition that, you know, for the amount they need to make the apology, the intuition is telling them they've put in the time, the efforts, you know, they're going to, they know they're going to reap what they sow, but they know they have to make it right here with the justice card. <clears throat> um, they also want to be victorious in the situation. You know, they, they want it to be successful. They want your relationship to be successful, but they've got to get rid of the toxicity. You know, it was just a lose-lose situation for both of you. And they realized that it was just too much for both. There, I just, with all this, see a lot of hurt and fighting arguments. Even petty ones would turn into big arguments. And why are they doing this? Because they know, you know, they want, they want like honest back and forth communication that they want to, they want it to be successful. You know, they want it to be, you know, productive and, and healthy and they want it to work, but they have to do it the right way. And they feel like before they were just all over the place, so emotional with their words and, you know, 
especially with the tower here, they were just um, getting angry for no reason, I'm hearing, and blowing off. Like one minute they're okay, the next minute they're just like angry. And it was just not healthy for both of you at all. Okay, how does Jim feel? Let's see how you feel. Yeah, you're heartbroken over this. You, this really, this really broke you. But you want to work on it. You know, and you feel like you, you're manifesting this right now, too. You're manifesting them to come back at you correctly. You're like, I, you're going to come back, but, you know, I'm not going to be fooled anymore. You know, you are going to come at me correct. And you're manifesting them working hard. <laughs> manifesting, you're also putting a lot of effort into your work. I do see money is very good for you this month. Tell me about the three of swords. Yeah, I mean, they really hurt you. And this is how you, how you're feeling at the moment. And they've hurt you because they have just, it's like, I'm feeling they've torn you. I, I'm hearing torn to shreds, but, you know, it's just. Like, I'm feeling, there's not even words to feel how you feel. Like, you, you just feel so alone. You felt alone even in the relationship. You know, every time there was fighting, every time there was <clears throat> an argument, or even every time that this person got upset, you felt alone. Even though you had many, a lot of people around you. Yeah, and it's just words. It's it's like this person was also jealous, kind of jealous, controlling of who you talk to, and it just it was overwhelming for you. Okay, let's see what action this person's going to take. Okay, this person's going to start to get their stuff together. They're going to start to... <clears throat> you know, they're going to be kind of back and forth about it, but, you know, they do want a solid foundation with you. They, it's like the tower's gone, you know, the tower happened, but they want to rebuild with you but you know they're even at the moment uh juggling uh, trying to keep everything all their you know balls up in the air just juggling everything but they want it to work they want a brand new beginning they want to offer you something that's gonna has the ability to grow i mean you see how all the flowers are growing around this pentacle just suspended and it's holding it but it's it's holding it in midair because it's strong. It's sturdy. It's something that's, you know, going to last. And it just keeps growing to the point where this is all going to be vines all the way around here. So that's, that's good. What advice do you have for a dramatic Okay, your advice is... Your advice is in, you know, the wheel is going to turn, okay? The, your advice is really divine timing. So in due time, you will have that happiness. You will have that, you know, happy home with this person. You know, this could be, this is someone from the past. So obviously you've been together, but... You know, this is, this is beautiful. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. I love that. I'm just like staring at it. No, but your advice is, you know, wait for divine timing. They're just kind of showing you. 
you know, that they, they have this, the universe has this, you've set your intentions, okay, you have set your intentions out, okay, you have told the universe, you know, you have to, they have to come at me correct, this is how I want it, and I, I love how the queen, this is how they're coming, <laughs> so you both are in the same spread together, which is awesome, and Gemini, you show up here, we also have main players. Yeah, even your card here. Capricorn. Aries Leo Sag. And Pisces. Cancer Scorpio. But I'd say Scorpio heavily. Gemini yourself, you could be dealing with another air sign or Aries Leo Sag. All right, let's get some romance angel cards for you. Let's see. There is definitely a transforming um, relationship. Like, it's never going to be the same. It's like from this moment on, if you're ever together, Release your ex, love yourself first. Yeah, you, it just has to be different. It's so funny how some of the signs you can tell have, um, like, their other signs in their charts because some of them are resonating. I'm seeing, like, little bits of pieces of every story and how they're all molding together, and I'm seeing the other sides of them. That's interesting. All right, last one. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini. All right, what messages do you have for Gemini? Yep. Yeah. Ah. Sorry, one second. I swear, everyone's getting this card. Everyone is getting the call, calling in your soulmate. All right. So, you have worth waiting for us. What I just said, the, the divine timing. Like, the universe is at work. They're at play, you know, co-creating with you because you're manifesting it. So, you're co-creating your life, you know, at what you want, what you deserve, what you desire. And you have released your ex. You know, release the toxicity. I mean, that's what that's what your person is doing to, or vice versa, cross watchers could be your energy. But you know, release the toxic energy because um, it was very toxic environment. I'm almost like when I did the reading, I was almost feeling like it was hard to breathe. You know, I was catching my breath, and it's probably that's how it was. Pretty um, harsh environment. It was hard, so much anxiety, so much on edge, you know, being on eggshells and you're just, it's hard to breathe. Then you got calling in your soulmate. Sorry. See that? Yeah. Which, um, you're, it's like laws of attraction, same thing, magician, uh, what it showed me calling in your soulmate, you know, you are setting your intentions out you are calling in the person that you need for your life. Yeah, see, this is a past life relationship. And I thought I'd seen that with the Justice card and Lovers. Is that this card, you know, this has been a past life relationship. It could have been soulmate, twin flame, but there's definitely karma related to this. You guys have done this before. Attraction. And, oh my goodness, sorry, they just fly. Ah, okay. And make the effort. So, yeah, I mean, they're asking you to make the effort here. You know, and see where it goes. So how does this person feel? Um, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Yeah, this person feels like they want to... Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this person... Um, feels like they want to spend time with you, like they want to, but I'm feeling like, like lighthearted energy, you know, like 
vacation, but, you know, not even vacation. I'm just feeling like they just want to be able to just sit with you in a room and just relax and enjoy the moment and not think about anything that's heavy because you got honeymoon here, but that's not, um, it's feeling a different, this has a different feel to it. You deserve love is how they're feeling as well as true love. So they feel like you are their true love. So let me see. I'm just curious because I like to dig. I always dig with these cards. Um, <laughs> I'm bad at that. And the people that I read for, um, they always, <laughs> I always dig so much that, you know, they finally tell me, oh, I don't need too much detail anymore. But let's see here. What is the outcome? What is going to happen in the future? Nice. Yeah, that's what I felt with the honeymoon card. Okay, so in the near future, so you have separation, but very soon. But how it's different in this spread, because you guys are separated right now. Clearly, we saw that. But very soon, you know, decide what you want, because they're coming back. And this could be the one. You, you're going to finally start opening up and seeing that this is the one. And um, also in the near future flirt, see the lighthearted energy. I felt that really heavy with the honeymoon. It, I, I felt like you guys aren't going to go anywhere, but it's like a, a homestay, like vacation, like where you just stay at home or, you know, down the street in a hotel or something and... You just enjoy each other's company. But that's in the near future. So, let me get one more for advice. <laughs> What's the advice for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh. All right. One more. Advice is codependency, new love, and romantic feelings to know codependency. I just want to clarify. Yeah. Let go of passion. So somebody's like really holding on to grudge here. And they're using it to fulfill a need in their life. But they're asking you to forgive. For to forgive and uh, learn from this. Because... It will release, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So that you love, honestly, that you love. Let's see. Trust. Yeah, so your advice is that, you know, new love is, it's going to transform, like we saw with the death card. So we'll transform into new love, but they're asking you to trust it. Because this new love is going to form, form trust as well. It's going to be totally different than you ever expected and trust your romantic feelings here free yourself because you know trust trust this new love trust the ro romantic feelings that you're feeling don't just let them go just because oh well i'll find another but for some reason they are asking you to do this and it's probably because past life relationship it's probably because you guys are, you know, could be twin flames even. Because there's a lot of toxic behavior here. All right. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Sorry, I got a little quirky. And uh, I'm going to shuffle this. Um, I will see you next month for the April reading and, uh, you guys have a great day. Many blessings to you and may peace be with you guys. All right. Thanks. Bye.